And there is a final uh, farewell between Peggy Whitson uh, and Shane Kimbrough, Thomas Pesquet, Oleg Nowitzki. The final farewells before the hatch will be closed, and Expedition 50 will begin its final preparations to return to Earth. Control Koryaf. Uh, once again, uh, you're looking at the hatchway uh, between the Poisk module and the Soyuz MSO2 spacecraft. Soyuz Commander uh, Sergei Rizhikov there in the field of view, uh, running through the procedures, uh, wiping down uh, the hatch uh, to make sure there's no foreign object debris uh, that uh, would uh, create any uh, issues with a solid leak check. Uh, once uh, we get to that here a short time from now, we're standing by for the actual closure of the hatch. Uh, the crew uh, inside the Soyuz having said farewell uh, to the uh, three remaining crew members on board the station. And uh, the hatch on the Soyuz MSO2 is now closed. The Soyuz uh, was placed on autonomous power uh, about an hour or so ago. All of its systems are reported in excellent shape, and now uh, Oleg Novitsky is in the process of closing the Poisk hatch. Again, 7.45 a.m. Moscow time, 11.45 p.m. Central time. The Soyuz hatch closed, and now the Poisk module Hatch has been closed uh, one and a half minutes later, so both hatches are now closed, setting the stage for the undocking of the Soyuz from the International Space Station with the undocking scheduled at 2.57 a.m. Central Time, just a few hours from now. The International Space Station currently flying over southwest China, moving from southwest to northeast, in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. We are ready to reset the status. Me mechanical contact is not illuminated. We have physical separation confirmed right on time at 2:57 and 30 seconds Central Time. 2:57 and 30 seconds Central Time. 3:57 and 30 seconds Eastern Time. The Soyuz MSO2 backing away from the International Space Station. Expedition 51 now officially underway on board the complex. I'm ready to send the command. Copy. We have selected the command. About a minute and a half from now, at uh, 3 a.m. Central Time, that will uh, initiate a uh, small opening rate. It's, it's going to be an eight-second burn, about a half a meter per second uh, opening rate. You can see the Soyuz as it uh, slowly backs away from the Poisk module, the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. We see the whole docking interface right now on the monitor. Eight seconds, burn. A good view of the uh, engine firing on the Soyuz vehicle. An eight-second burn. This is the first of two separation burns to increase uh, the opening rate by about a half a meter per second. So the Soyuz is on its way. It will uh, take a, about an orbit and three quarters uh, for it to reach its uh, separation distance from the International Space Station for the uh, Soyuz deorbit burn, which is a much uh, more substantial firing of the engines. That will be a four-minute, 38-second retrograde firing, a braking maneuver to slow the Soyuz down by 128 meters per second. E1, command. Once again, uh, the Soyuz MSO2 undocked on time at 2.57 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time this morning has uh, begun uh, to back away at a uh, consistent rate 
uh, to uh, a safe distance away from the International Space Station. Next mi major milestone will be the deorbit burn. That will be a four-minute, 38-second braking maneuver. This spectacular video of the uh, descent of the Soyuz MSO-2 under its main parachute. Flight controllers have relayed uh, up to Alec Novitsky aboard the International Space Station that everything is going perfectly and that the crew is in excellent condition. The uh, spectacular video you're watching uh, indicative of uh, the proximity of uh, the search and recovery forces to the uh, landing site itself, meaning uh, we're expecting almost a precise bullseye touchdown for the Soyuz MSO-2 landing scheduled about uh, three and a half minutes from now. Remember to locate your elbows uh, as per instructions. We have 800. Uh, a pair of uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters flying in front of the uh, long-range camera uh, that is tracking uh, the final moments of the flight of the Soyuz MSO-2, which was launched uh, atop a Soyuz booster from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan last October 19th. The crew uh, now bracing uh, for touchdown that is coming up uh, within the minute. We're going to stop talking. And touchdown is now confirmed. Touchdown confirmed at 6.20 and 35 seconds a.m. Central Time, 7.20 and 35 seconds a.m. Eastern Time. The Soyuz spacecraft has touched down. You saw it all the way down, almost from the start of the uh, parachute deployment. It appears as if uh, the Soyuz uh, was dragged onto its side uh, we'll confirm that in a moment or two. But again, uh, the Soyuz uh, safely back on Earth. Touchdown confirmed at 6.20 and 35 seconds a.m. Central Time, 5.20 and 35 seconds p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan. This is Mission Control Koryov. Uh, television now being received uh, from the landing site in uh, Kazakhstan. Sergei Ryzhikov, uh, the Soyuz commander, first out of uh, the Soyuz uh, descent module. Shane Kimbrough now uh, has uh, also been uh, extracted from the spacecraft, being uh, attended to by uh, NASA personnel. Andrei Borisenko will be uh, out of the spacecraft uh, just a moment or two from now. Uh, the extraction occurring about 14 minutes after touchdown. It was a bullseye touchdown. Uh, you see uh, t uh, Chris Cassidy, who's the chief of NASA's astronaut office at the Johnson Space Center, uh, kneeling right in front of uh, Kimbrough, talking to him. Sean Fuller, uh, right behind uh, Kimbrough. Fuller is the director of human spaceflight programs in Russia. Touchdown occurring at uh, 6.20 a.m. Central Time, 5.20 p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan. Kimbrough, Ryzhikov, and Borisenko completing a journey of 73.2 million miles. And uh, Andrei Borisenko now being carried uh, to his chair to join his crewmates. All of the crew members are now out of the Soyuz spacecraft following a uh, textbook touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan. 
just about uh, 17 minutes ago. Both helicopters, one for each crew member, for about a two-hour flight back to the staging city of Carragunda, where they will bid farewell to one another, Kimbrough boarding a NASA jet bound for Houston, uh, while the two cosmonauts fly back to their training base at Star City, Russia. Uh, sure. 